welcome. This is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Taurus people out there. This is for the Sun, Moon and Rising Tauruses. It is the first week of October 2016. It is the week number 40th. The 40th week of 2016. The Energy Vibration of this week is the Energy of Water. It's debt. But with the debt, there is transformation and there is the achievement so uh, maybe you have been gone through a rough period in your life, but that is here and transformation. Your powerful and overall energy for you as a Taurus, it is the seven of wands and also the six of swords. Whenever these two energies comes up, it is saying that you are trying to protect yourself and fight off negative energies. And from that, you're moving away from that negativity in your life. This is just so wonderful, so powerful for you guys. As we look at the angels, the angel is Archangel Azrael. If you are going through grief of loss uh, or um, the color is black, it's protective. It's a very protective color. You're going into the winter period now. It's very protective. And if you have a color that you feel protective in, wear this color in this week. As we look at the first day, we have the energy of um, the energy of debt and the energy of death have the energy of giving up. If some of you out there feel like giving up, do not give up. It is just that you're cleansing karma from other people. Most of the time, it's not even your own karma. It's just lessons that you came here to work out with other people. Some of you will come to an end of, of a di difficult situation. And by coming to the end of that difficult situation, it's going to be good because um, success and a new start is going to be there. If you have a child, you will get good news over a child in this week. As we look at Tuesday, the energy of the elephant, which is your own energy vibration, this is just so wonderful. If you are having a situation, um, if you're sick and having a situation, it's going to get better, okay? If you do surgery or um, extend extend the, um, the treatment, you will feel better, okay? Um, what I see here is that maybe in a group of people, some of you out there, you'll be having quarrels and arguments with the organization, uh, um, a conflict that will be resolved, okay? Um, the other energy that I see here is that um, most of you um, Tauruses will be very undecided, okay? But, you know, you guys are really people who make um, decisive decision and you guys are the leaders. And the energy vibration is here, so use it. As we look at Wednesday, we have the energy of the devil and he's just turned down, okay? So positive, uh, you're, you're going to get positive message over your family your financial situation. As we look further, um, on Thursday, we have the energy of the chariot and the energy of the chariot, um, have the energy from, you have to make a difficult decision in your life, which is going to be painful. And it can be a separation. It can be that you're moving away, but whatever decision you are going to choose to make, it's not going to be a, a very easy decision. And it's going to be an emotional one for you guys. As we look at Friday, we have the energy of the star. And the star energy is bringing you um, luck and, and good luck. So whatever decision you made the day before and on Friday, if you decide to make it to, to go that part or that way or take the opportunity that has been offered to you, it's going to be very lucky. It's going to bring a lot of luck and good movement in your life. It's going to move you onto something which is beautiful. Your life is just going to bloom. As we look at um, Saturday, Saturday, the energy of the Hierophant comes in and he is bringing happiness into your life. If you're having a situation with a child, um, 
and your child is going to be okay or okay um and if it's somebody don't forget your child's birthday there's a group of people who i should give this message to don't forget your child's birthday and this child is expecting a party so be for the people who have kids out there okay as we look at Sunday, Sunday, the energy here, it is the energy of good news is coming in about the job. I want to say stay tuned for the general readings. Thank you for returning to the energy vibration reading for the week of um, uh, the 40th week of 2016. It is the first week in October. And in this week, in the month of October until January, I'll be featuring special artists and special people who I've met during this year. And I found this wonderful um, woman. She is fantastic. She does painting. She does artwork. She paints, she's a painter, and her paintings, you can find her at artelina.com. Please look at our videos. At the beginning of the videos, there is, um, um, we'll be featuring um, her work at the beginning and end of the video. If you'd like to um, purchase one of these, you can always um, contact her at artelina.com. And we're going forward because the energy of the week number 40, um, we'll be working with the sixth chakra. And remember, there are some people who only works with a seven chakra, but I'm working with all 12 chakras on this. We need to awaken all 12 chakras. And as I am looking at the chakra, which we're working with um, this week, it's going to be the sixth chakra. And whenever we think about the sixth chakra, we should always come from the heart chakra and write down. So um, it is a wonderful time to connect to all of the chakras and the heart chakra is the sixth chakra. And I want to say to everyone out there, please call upon the angels, Archangel Shamuel, and she will um, touch, open, and activate your art chakra. Whenever your art chakra is open, you feel only unconditional love. And this is wonderful and beautiful because when we feel unconditional love, we can treat other people with respect and expect that they will treat us also with respect. The other energy that I have, it is the energy of the fire. Uh, it is from the wisdom, the hidden wisdom room, and it is optimism. And what I so love about this energy is because it's bringing up its fire. It has the energy of fire. Uh, fire is one of those energies that clear negativity around you. And whenever you think about the fire dragons, you can always call upon Archangel Gabriel, Supervisor of Thorn, Helmet Master of Fire, and the fire dragons to touch, open, and activate and cleanse all the negative energy around you. And this fire prince comes up, and you can call upon this fire prince to help you to clear all negative energies around you as we move forward i am choosing the other energies from the map and it says follow the leader and whenever this energy comes up to say follow the leader it is always an energy when whenever you are looking and you're trying to um, uh, um, um, help people and you're bringing something out to help the world. You know, you can always imitate the person who you look up to most of all. If you're an artist, look for that, um, well-known worldwide artist. If you are an, um, and, 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 um, you know, whatever you do, Find that persons that uh, um, awaken your spiritual divine gift, whatever di spiritual divine gifts. It can be thousands of things because we are all here on a journey and we're learning different things. And 
you know, if you're an international speaker, you can always find one person who has really awakened you and, and, and really let you connect to yourself. So find someone who you look up to. And if that's your divine life part, you will know. As we have the last card from the Oracle, normally she is the first, it is co-create. And this is so wonderful because you have followed the leader, now co-create. And what it is saying is that the universe is saying to you, co-create with your mighty I am present self. Call upon your spirit guides and your guidance and angels and ask them, what is it? Ask them to awaken and, re and reveal to you your divine life purpose. Purpose. Because what's happening is that a lot of people seems to be following a lot of people's and um, they're just copying other people and what they're doing, but they're not finding their true divine purpose. What you can do is look at other people who attracts you and awaken something in you and then ask your inner self, your mighty I am present to really show you the way and show you who you are as a true um, person personal beam, loving beam on this planet. And I want to say thank you for being here. Namaste until next week.